Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zell. So today I'm gonna show you guys the plants that I got for my birthday. My birthday was um, March 12th, and today is I think March 15th, so it was uh three days ago. And uh, yeah, I've got three plants that my uh, husband ordered for me from Etsy. Uh, those are kind of rare variegated alocasia and then i've got five plants that i ordered for me for myself uh from itsy it's from the greenscape uh i've got four philodendron and one epipremnum so and like we ordered those like last week so on the on the march 12th like the day of my birthday we also went to the plant and planters on i mean at uh, uh richard richard <laughs> richardson texas and we got i got a massive plant that i'm so excited to show you guys and then my uh son got me a uh, like a nice succulent plant so the, we got two plants from there i think no three because my uh, son also got a plant for himself like a succulent looking one so yeah i'm gonna show it to you guys and then i'm also gonna include the plants that i got like all the plants that i got from on the uh, month of march we went to to lowe's i think the other week and i've got two plants from there and then my uh plant friend gel uh we I did a trade again so I got I think six plants from here from her so I'm gonna just include it on this video so yeah I also did um like a planty DIY photo shoot birthday photo shoot I'm gonna show it to you guys like the picture it's fun because it's so funny actually because out of 20 to 30 pictures uh i only got one nice pictures that was edited nicely <laughs> yeah i did a, i got a tripod and like a photography camera i don't know what kind of i think a sony or something yeah and then i just do a timer and then run to the in front of the camera and pause and all that <laughs> it's fun so i'm gonna show you guys the like the picture and how i uh my picture and then how i like decorated that i did it on in front of our fireplace <laughs> so yeah it was funny and it's actually hard because i have to do the timer and you run to the camera with like the dress and stuff but anyway I w it was fun and yeah uh so yeah let's do it okay let's start with the plants that my husband ordered for me uh first is A variegated um alocasia amazonica it's so pretty you guys uh see that it's on it's all on a three inch pot and yeah it's so pretty uh one of these plants i was actually disappointed i'm gonna talk about that later i'm gonna do that last <laughs> so yeah uh variegated uh i don't know if this is pink or just because i know there's a, like a pink that really grows like pink variegation but this might be just uh this is not an album too but it's so pretty it might be a pink actually yeah it's tiny but it's so pretty i love it so yeah that's variegated Amazon amazonica uh next is allocate variegated alocasia uh dragon scale you guys can see that it's so pretty the variegation but uh out of three plants this is i think 
who are gonna give me problem because those plants I got it last week and it already giving me second leaf on my care and this one is just the leaves are just dying off but I think there's actually uh, a new group in here and see and the variegation is so pretty ah uh, so I asked my plant from gel I asked her if her uh, variegated dragon scale is hard like to take care of and she said that it's not actually hard and the only thing that I need to do is put it on a pond because I think the person that uh, told her her uh, drawing scale said that the only uh, time I mean the dragon scale only do good on a pond like the semi hydro so I might actually try this on a semi hydro but I don't know I don't really like semi hydro I, the only thing I don't like is uh, I'm gonna have to get a different like nutrients you know fertilizer for them and then if you have a pot you're gonna need to have like another pot to put it in so to collect the water you know what I mean so yeah but this is a such a pretty plant I've been wanting one of these and yeah it's also on a three inch pot or is this three inch or three and a half something like that see oh it's pretty hopefully it I think I can see a new leaf coming and it's gonna be next week I'm gonna need to repot this oh my god I don't wanna so yeah variegated alocasia dragon scale i have the i actually only have three allocation my regal shield my the just the green version of this the normal version of this dragon scale and then the allocation mickey mouse so this is i got three now so i have six now so yeah love that and then the next one this is the one that I was disappointed but it's a pretty plant you see that it's so pretty uh, so I have a regal shield I I think I already show it on I'm not sure yeah I've sh shown it on the video my older video before uh, I have a massive regal shield so when I was looking for uh, like plants and it's a uh, uh, I saw a variegated regal shield area this is listed as variegated regal shell area but after i received this like couple of days after it was delivered i was checking the the receipt and uh, i was checking the shop again because they have tons of nice stuff like big thing big stuff and like rare plants and they changed the name to alocasia variegated alocasia winti or winti winti and i was like wait a minute because this is the most expensive of all these three and it's like and this is what like i was actually so excited about because i really want to have a variegated regal shield because that regal shield that they have the normal one is like the easiest probably the easiest allocation that you can have and it goes like massive so i messaged the seller i was so disappointed actually and I said, why did you guys, I, I mean, I asked, I asked her, like, I think the owner, I asked her, uh, I was checking, you know, the your shop and you just suddenly changed the name uh, of the variegated real shell area to variegated winti. And she said, oh, yeah, that's actually the correct name. That's what she said. I was like, it's like so easy to just correct the name and you just. So. I posted the picture because I asked her again I think and she's taking a while to reply so I posted on my local group like DFW plant group and they said oh no that is actually uh, winty and it's not a regal shield but they all almost look the same but I feel like this one has like different like on the back here and then they said 
and then what I said uh that was a pretty pound but it's not a real shield area so you know there's actually an area and there's an album an album is so expensive so I just want to get the area first and then one of the person there the girl she also have her own group and uh she sell lots of rare variegated alocasia she actually know the uh the owner of that plant shop on Etsy and she actually made like a chat group she connected me to that girl on Facebook like on messenger and she said hey guys you can talk in here and stuff like that and then right after that the girl the owner of the shop on Etsy that I ordered this she messaged me right away and all that stuff and my message is I just told her that why you guys like change it right away after the the order was delivered like it's so shady like and she's i said i wouldn't i'll purchase it if, i mean i said i wouldn't purchase it if this is labeled correctly because i was really looking for the regal shade area and she said oh yes yeah, sorry uh blah 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 and yeah it's like that and she said uh do you want to um uh, refund I mean return this plant and I just refund you or you want to just give you a credit and you can buy another plants from our shop like I'm gonna tell you how much is this $270 for this small plant like that it's not even the correct plant so I said okay I'll just get the credit because I never really done shipping plants before and I don't want this to die because it's a pretty plant and she said okay i'll give you a credit and then after two days she didn't send me anything so i asked her you know what i didn't get the credit that you were talking about so just give me so i'm just gonna return the plant and just refund me the the money so i can buy the plants that i want and then she sent me right away like a coupon code like that so i went to their shop and tried tried it and it was like invalid so i was like what is this girl like i'm pretty sure she gave me a valid like you know uh code so i i, I messaged her again and i said well, so your code is invalid it got it don't work i'm just gonna return this and refund me and she said oh no, just tell me what the plants that you like so i can just send it to you and that was like probably four days ago now and i said okay i'm just i just want i check all the plants there and I said i said i want a variegated banana because they have a very good one it's not even 275 it's only 240 so i just get that and until now she haven't messaged me she haven't done nothing she haven't sent me anything or the tracking number and stuff like that so i was waiting for her to do that before i give a reuse because yeah <laughs> but i'm so disappointed with this plant but it's a pretty plant see that it's a nice variegation but yeah i'm done with my rant <laughs> i was just disappointed because it's not a cheap plant like ten dollars plant that you can just oh okay it's fine this is 275 dollars plus and it's not even the plant that I want, but it's pretty. I'm gonna try to grow this and maybe get corns and get back my money. <laughs> so, uh, allocation variegated alocasia winti. I don't even know this. There's a variegated alocasia winti plant because I was really thinking this is a regal shell, but anyway, it's a beautiful plant, and I'm just still waiting for that girl. I'm gonna wait until the end of this month. If she didn't send me the plant, then I'm gonna give her a nice review. So yeah, that's the variegated alocasia wintii. Okay, next are the plants that mm, I ordered from the Greenscape. I already, I think, ordered. Yeah, I ordered from them before. Uh, only once and one of those are my 
North Variegated Philodendron UPI. So I was excited. I ordered four Philodendron and one Gigantium. So I'm gonna start with uh, the Philodendron. Oop. This is Philodendron. Uh, Atabe Prince? Is that how you say it? So it's so pretty. Look at the back. Oh, this is the newest leaf. The back is like purple, purplish. This is, I ordered four. All the philodendrons are on, uh, no, three philodendrons are on the four inch pot. Because Sometimes the starter plants are just too little, so I just ordered a 4-inch pot because it's just a couple of dollars anyway. So yeah, this is such a pretty plant. I love this. I just realized that I love this kind of philodendron, <laughs> like, you know, like the Billiate and this one. goes. I know I think there's a hybrid between the Billiate and this one too, So, but I haven't seen that in person yet. So... Yeah, this is a uh, um, philodendron a type of pencil. Oh my gosh, it's so it's dripping. <laughs> I'll just put it in here. Yeah, I love that. That's for the first plant. I'm just gonna put it in here. Next plant is. Oops. Uh, philodendron portum as you can see the leaves are like doesn't look nice because uh the packaging was like defold like the paper those kind of paper defold it with the leaves because the leaves are a little bit longer it defold it like that so that's why like the tips of the leaves are all like bent and like dead Oof. So this is also four inch pot, uh, and can you see that this needed a repot? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna repot this maybe next week. Most of this into maybe five inch or four six inch pot because the roots are crazy. So yeah, uh, Feldendron tartum. That's the second plant. And the next one is Oop. This is a uh, Philodendron 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 Glorious. Ah, uh, I've seen people on YouTube and Instagram they grow this plant into a huge, like massive plant, like climbing. So that is my goal for this plant uh i was also thinking about the splendid but i i did got had an explain ex, ex splendid is splendid before from a trade but that one just didn't do well because it's too small so um it died and i was thinking about that but other thing is i never really buy the same plant twice or get the same plant twice i think that's the thing that i i'm kind of proud of myself as a plant parent because i know people will buy uh different like people get monster abo like different monster abo because they have a different variegation i don't do that i get one plant and then propagate it and made 10 more plants out of that one plant because I feel like if I buy another one, it's just the same. It's just a little bit of different irrigation, but it's just the same plant. And even if I have plants that died before, I never really buy rebuy another one like the same plant. That's what I'm proud for as a plant parent because there's a lot of different plants that I want to try on, and I tried to get like almost the same, you know, the same looking plant. And this is kind of look the same as a splendid, although. Like, you know, the way they climb and have big leaves. So, yeah, I got this instead of the splendid. And this has lots of babies. So, this is, I think, uh, 
for sure uh tissue cultured so this two probably i'm gonna put it on a pole or just one and then separate this one and try to grow it the babies babies <laughs> and maybe sell it so yeah i've got that and then the last philodendron is a starter plant oh god uh it's bay it's a baby but this is a philodendron aspertus sancti is that how you pronounce it sancti sancti i also love this because they grow like the atabe fancy and the philodendron belly belly go like long leaves so this used to be very rare and expensive even just a normal green one but now you can see this like popping on Etsy or uh, even on your plant you know local plant group so I got this I think this is $65 for the starting plants but uh, I love it and I've been wanting one there's also a variegated version of this which is still expensive and it's so pretty because the variegation of that is white like an elbow not like the belly that is kind of more like an area the yellow variegation so maybe one day <laughs> i'm gonna have a variegated version of this plant it's so pretty it's kind of like the the leaves are like droop how do you call it like drooping like that down so yeah it's already unfurling a new leaf in here which i'm so excited about and uh, yeah i need to repot this I just put this up because it came as like bare root and I just put this up but yeah I'm gonna probably need to repot this again soon because it's still on that mesh thing you know on the starter plants and I don't like those because those will kill eventually kill the plants and which I'm so excited about this can you see that i hope you can see it but i think it might actually be like variegation you see that this oh my gosh this is the first thing that i noticed when i open the packaging there's like a tiny tiny splotch splotch i'm gonna try not to move too much ah uh, I won't be surprised because my UPI, I'm still waiting for that plant to grow the new leaf if uh, it continues the variegation, but this one is so pretty. So this is the fourth plant, the last philodendron. Philodendron Aspertus Sancti. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not like droopy. Oh my gosh. And the last one uh, is uh, this is supposed to be like bigger than this. It's supposed to be a four inch pot. So you can see the sizes of four inch four inch pot plants. They're a little bit bigger. But this one is just like a little one like a starter plant so i messaged the greenscape and they said uh yeah this is actually like a starter plant and suppo not supposed to be uh shipped to me and they said that they're currently out of stock of the four inch part plant so they can't resend me the correct size plant and they just asked me if i wanted a refund so i said okay i'll just refund me and they refunded me uh this is so small this is a starter plant they have four inch plant uh which a little bit uh the price is a little bit more than the starter plants so this is actually the size of a starter plants so they refunded me the money they're nice so you know they they communicate fast and whatever you're as long as you provided them pictures of whatever your complaint is they're gonna talk about that and try to resolve it which is i love this kind of shops <laughs> that's why i keep coming back into that 
uh, plant shop. So yeah, this is the last plant that I got for myself. And I'm gonna go need to actually repot this in a smaller pot because I think they just potted it up on this four inch pot to make it like a four inch plant. <laughs> but I'm gonna probably put this back on a four inch pot because it's too small. You see that? You can hardly see it when the, you put the plant like that. So yeah, I'm gonna be replanting. I mean, repotting this, all these plants, on the next couple of videos. So yeah, that's it for the ply plants that I got from the Grainscape. Oh my God! The next uh, three plants are the ones we got from Plant and Planters. That was uh, three days ago, I think. So the first plant is. Uh, this i don't know what kind of succulent is this it just said assorted so my my son got this for himself he was actually carrying this uh the whole day when we went to i mean he's just carrying it like around the house because he said it's his plants so yeah it's like and he put the receipt in here <laughs> i probably need to put this on my uh succulent and cacti shelf right there so yeah that's for the first plant this is his plant so he probably gonna ask for this again and the next one is this beautiful crown of thorns so he actually chose this for me i think he likes um like the, because there's flowers and sometimes when he's outside playing and he's so like with flowers what's this kind of weed that does let you blow i don't know but yeah those he, he would pick those up and give it to me because <laughs> it's mommy flowers yeah this is pretty i love this i Remind me of my mom. My mom passed away like a couple of years ago, probably more than five years. No, yeah, seven years. So, yeah, I, when she was still alive, uh, she got so many different of um, crown of thorns on the side of her house, like. There's like big ones that actually are so scary because of all the thorns. Uh, yeah, this actually will, uh, all the leaves will fall, fall out and then grow again the next like season or something, like when it's summer. So I got this and I love this because it reminds me of my mom. All of her plants before, like the flowering plants, they actually when she goes somewhere like in the city and she saw on someone houses that there's like nice plants she likes plants that uh, you know flowering plants and she don't like this kind of like philodendron these are all just like on the wild on our like farm <laughs> but she she likes rose roses and orchids and like something like this that has flowers so she would just ask uh, the owner of the house and they would just give you like cuttings and all that so, yeah we don't really buy plants on the Philippines. We don't buy plants. You just like ask someone to just give you. So I love this, and I'm probably gonna repot this on a, like a uh, terracotta and put this on my nightstand because it's like nice. I like uh, uh plants that has flowers like on the bedroom because it look really nice. I don't need like the cup flowers. So yeah, this is for the second plant crown crown of thorns and then the last plant i need to move back oh my gosh no no can you see this oh my gosh <laughs> it's a big this is a massive monstera skeleto i'm so excited because I've been wanting one of these and I've seen this on Green Acres too and I was like 
maybe not today because they're so big and I feel like maybe I don't need a space for this and stuff like that but I need one ah there's two plants on one pot ah there's actually four pots in there like four different plants and this is the only one with two plants so I choose this so when you're shopping with plants uh, I always me I always like check how many plants if there's more like babies because for me I do sell plants so if there's babies I can sell more you know give back my money so yeah I'm probably gonna separate this and then uh put one on like a pole I have a I have a moss pole that is that I'm not using right now so I'm probably gonna use that for this ah uh, and this I can see it. this one actually was the growth point was uh cut I don't know if it's oh yeah I think someone cut it or something but uh it's actually growing another growth point in here so the other one is the one that is this one is the one the smaller one this is probably the one that I'm going to you know pat up for myself yeah because oh there's a lot of nuts look at those leaves and this one I might just um, actually propagate this I don't know because it's so like overwhelming to propagate because these leaves are so big look at that and um, it's gonna be like a uh, struggle to let them grow as much as big as these leaves you know grow more bigger leaves so i'm going to put it like on like on top of like with a grow light or something like that but i love it so much <laughs> we i went there and this is what i have on my mind like if they have a skeletal a skeletal that is what i'm gonna get they have nice plants in there but my eyes is just sit on this one so i'm glad that i got this and i've got this for 79 dollars which i think is a good deal because it's a big plant and you know they grow little like smaller just like uh, adam senei they grow as little as that they have that on i think greens greenscape too and it's like 20 dollars for a starter plant so I just think that this is this massive one is just a great deal like that. Oh, I just put this on the back here. Well, it's so pretty. So yeah, that's for the plants that we got from the plant and planters. And the next set of plants i think i have one two three four five six plants are the one that i got from the trade with my plant friend gel so yeah the first plant is it's so cute this is a purple passion it's so pretty you guys like look at this like shimmering oh my gosh and she said this grow so fast like propagate so fast on water so i need to repot this on a bigger pot look at that i love that uh the colors because i you know it like it's a pop-up color on all of these greenhouse plants <laughs> so pretty i never seen this before actually i think oh my gosh purple passion it's like rooted well so next is i got so many plants that i need to repot oh my gosh uh this variegated uh african violet violet uh i asked her what is the like the actual name of this I forgot what is it but i can put it on the screen it's so pretty so she propagated it like you know african violet you can propagate it propagate them from their like leaves so she just used this one leaf and then it grows into this 
small tiny plants of its own so i can't wait for this to grow bigger i need to repot this obviously so yeah i love this i love all these plants that she got me oh my gosh next is uh variegated this kitty a million hearts i have one i have the normal million of heart million hearts uh this kitty before and the though that one passed away <laughs> because i think it got uh spider mites yeah but this one is really pretty because it has nice variegation like out there variegation so that's for the third plant and the next one is what is this peperomia frost it's so pretty it's tiny i think th these plants also can propagate from a leaf i'm not sure yet but i'm not sure yet i'm not sure but these are so pretty i don't have any peperomia on my collection i think i had variegated peperomia of the cephalia before but that plant just get so crazy like flames get flimsy every now and then i just like so i get rid of it uh but this one is different because it's kind of they tend to stay like compact and small so i love that frost from frost frost that's the fourth plant the next one is syngonium batik get me this tiny little plant that is so pretty yeah i have i don't have lots of syngonium but they are actually one of the fastest and easy care house plants but they tend to grow crazy like you need to have them ah uh, most people to climb on or something like a trellis because they go crazy when yeah i have my syngonium Tricking set up been needing to be propagated and repotted and put the moss below. <laughs> and yeah, I got this uh, single new batik. And the last one is this variegated alocasia dawn. It's so pretty. It's oop. It's highly variegated. So she said to just put it. I'm probably gonna put it, not gonna put it under a grow light first because it's really highly variegated. I've seen this on <laughs> uh, Amazon. Yeah, there's plants of Amazon. You can actually order plants from Amazon, uh, like a big one, but I'm glad I didn't get it. So I'm just gonna start with a small one because I don't really have a lot of space for big plants anymore. There's a new leaf coming in there, but I think it's gonna be highly, highly variegated. So I'm gonna need to put this away from light first. So yeah, that's it. Is six plants from my friend Jail. Thank you, Jail, for all the cute plants. So yeah, I'm gonna need to repot this next next future. So the last two plants, um, uh, I we got this I think last week from Lowe's. No, Home Depot. Yeah, we went to Lowe's and the Lowe's garden center, garden center is closed because they don't have people working there. They're like trying to hire people and no one's working there. So yeah, we went to Home Depot instead and we got this lit up. It's so pretty, like so perfect. They look nice when they're like that, but when they try to grow another like these leaves, I don't know how you call it. Is that leaves like they they get a little ugly when they grow? I have one this one of this before when I was just starting when we we're still in an apartment when I just got got into the to US and my step <laughs> my stepdaughter likes to play with that this certain plant. I think she was just seven years old at the time and she I I prepotted the lithops into a like 
terracotta and then put like a tiny rocks around it and then she would get the pla the rocks and put it like on the middle <laughs> I we call and she called it bad plants and I told her, Well how are you gonna feel if I put uh, rocks on your butt? <laughs> and she would just laugh. So that plant uh eventually die. I don't know. I think I overwater it because this plant you're supposed to only water it like once a year and not like spray it with water. You can just get like a how do you call it? Syringe? Like just put like tiny tiny drops on around the plants that is after this plants are this part are welted like it's growing another plant on the on the middle so yeah i love this and we get this nice looking pot and just put it like that so i put it on my succulent uh, plant shelf so the last one oh my god i think this video is gonna be so long so the last one is this. Ah, uh, the name is the name is this. Hoya Australis. It's so funny. It's not Australis. It's a uh, Hoya Lacanosa. So I actually never seen this plant on like Home Depot or Lowe's before. So I cut it and it's so like heavy and overwatered and I think I need to repot this and maybe propagate. It's so nice because this looks like it's so dark, like almost black some of the leaves are. So yeah, it's for twenty dollars, so I cut it. Hoya Lakanasa. Okay, guys, so that's all the plants that I got for my birthday, for the March, up for the month of March. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will gonna, gonna be repotting some of this on the future. And I'm so excited for this big one to put it on a moss pole and propagate it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.